Hi, my name is Joe Klug. I'm a Solution Development Manager for Peregrine Connect. In this short video, I am going to demonstrate the capabilities of the NetSuite SRP add-in for Microsoft Project. For the rest of this video, I'm going to refer to this as the Project Add-in. The Project Add-in provides Microsoft Project users a no-code solution to share their projects with NetSuite SRP. It targets two main use cases. The first use case supports users maintaining their projects within Microsoft Project. In this scenario, the projects are created and modified within Microsoft Project and uploaded into NetSuite SRP. The Microsoft Project version of the project would then be considered the master version, and the project is uploaded into NetSuite for supporting other functions such as time entry, billing, and resource allocation and utilization. Once the project is uploaded into NetSuite, it can be downloaded by other Microsoft Project users. Let me demonstrate how this works. To demonstrate this use case, I have a project that has been created in Microsoft Project. You can see that there are several tasks, and each task has resources assigned. Uploading a project into NetSuite is actually quite easy. Once you've installed the add-in, you will see a new tab in the Microsoft Office ribbon called NetSuite SRP. The user can click on this tab to see the available buttons for setting NetSuite properties, getting a list of resources, and uploading and downloading projects from NetSuite. To upload the project, the user simply needs to click the Upload Project button. The first time the user clicks any of the buttons inside of the ribbon, they will be requested to enter their username and password. So let me add mine. And once I click the OK button, several things will happen. The first thing that will happen is the add-in will download a list of calendars from NetSuite. It does this because it wants to make sure that the default calendar used by Microsoft Project matches the default calendar that is used by NetSuite. It will also download any other calendars that are available in NetSuite just to make them available for use when you assign resources to project tasks. The next thing that the add-in will do is it will try to validate all of the resources that have been assigned to project task. It does this because it wants to make sure that when you're adding the task to NetSuite that the resources can also be assigned to those tasks. So I just got a dialog that tells me that some of them haven't been validated and to click OK to continue. So I click the OK button and it's going to take each one of these resources and validate that they actually exist in NetSuite. And shortly here, there we go, I'll get a dialog that says that they've all been validated. When I click the OK button, the add-in will go and start creating the, micro the project record inside of NetSuite and then add all the tasks to that project. Now this does take a few seconds to do because it has to add each task individually and then it goes back and it reorders those tasks and then it assigns all the predecessors to the task. So it's doing quite a bit of work but the user doesn't have to do anything. It just has to sit back and wait for the project to be uploaded into NetSuite. Now that the project has been successfully uploaded, we can go into NetSuite and see that it's there. Let me refresh my browser so I can see a new list. And there's my project I just uploaded. I can go ahead and take a look at that project. And you see all the tasks are here. And if I wanted to look at one of these tasks, it'll show that Alex Pym has been added as an assignee with the estimated work of eight hours to this particular task. Now that the project is available in NetSuite, the project manager has a few options. If they want, they can make a change in the project in either Microsoft Project or NetSuite. I'll start by making a change inside of Microsoft Project. I'll insert a task here. Insert task. We'll just call it um, a demo task. Um, I'll set the duration to a day, which will give us eight hours of time, and I'll assign it to Abby. 
So I've got this new task here, and I'll even put a predecessor in here for task seven to make sure everything lines up. Now that I have this new task in here, I just have to click upload project again. I don't have to re-enter my credentials because once you enter them, they will be stored in memory until the next time you close and reopen Microsoft Project. So this will just take a few seconds to upload the project. And once we are notified that the project has been successfully updated, we can go into NetSuite and take a look at the new project. So here you have my demo task, predecessor of, of task seven, and the estimated work of eight. And if I go ahead and look at it, it'll show me that Abby has been assigned to this task. Now, maybe your project manager or possibly someone else decided that one of these tasks needs to have a little more time. And so they don't have access to Microsoft Project, but they're looking around in NetSuite and they come in here and decide, okay, my create users and groups in the Active Directory service task is going to take a little bit longer than I thought. So they come in here and they want to change the estimated work from eight to 16 hours. And they go ahead and save it. And now you've got this change up in NetSuite, but you want to see it in Microsoft Project as well. Well, no problem. All you have to do in Microsoft Project is click on the Refresh Project button. And Refresh Project will first warn you that it's going to overwrite any changes that you might have made locally. And once you click the OK button, it'll go and it'll pull those changes down and display them inside of Microsoft Project. So you don't have to worry about making changes in Microsoft Project versus NetSuite. You can always um, refresh your Microsoft Project version by just doing a refresh project. So the changes have been downloaded and you'll see that Alex now has 16 hours to uh, create the users and groups in Active Directory. So you can see that this use case easily allows project managers to continue using Microsoft Project while allowing them to integrate those projects with NetSuite SRP. The second scenario supports users maintaining their projects within NetSuite SRP, but still using Microsoft Project to download and view or modify them. Once changes are completed, they can be uploaded back into NetSuite SRP. The NetSuite version of the project would then be considered the master version. Let me demonstrate how this one works. First, I'm going to show you a project in NetSuite SRP. It's a small project with only six tasks inside of it. Now to download this project, the first thing you need to do is open a blank project in Microsoft Project. When the blank project is open, click on the NetSuite SRP tab and click on the Get Project button. A list of projects will be retrieved from NetSuite SRP that you can download. Scroll through the list and find the project you want to download. In my case, it's my database tuning project. Select it and then click Open. The add-in will download all the information that's necessary to display the project in Microsoft Project. I was just given a warning that states this project has tasks with actual work time entries entered against it. NetSuite does not allow you to delete a task that has actual time entries entered against it. So the add-in will keep you from doing that in Microsoft Project as well. After I click the OK button, it'll finish downloading. And here are my short list of tasks with the resources. And if I went over and looked at my resource sheet, it'll show the three resources with their standard rates. And also the amount of actual work and estimated work. Now let's say that your project manager decides that it's going to take longer for travel and they want to up that value to 24 hours. So let's just go ahead and change it, go back to NetSuite SRP tab, and click the Upload Project button to push these changes from Microsoft Project into NetSuite SRP. It'll take a few seconds. We'll get a notification that it's completed. And then I can navigate back to NetSuite SRP, refresh my browser, and you can see that my estimated work has been changed to 24 hours. You can see that it's very easy to download projects, make changes, and upload them back to NetSuite. 
This use case then allows project managers that prefer to use Microsoft Project as their tool of choice. And it gives them the ability to access projects that were previously created in NetSuite, download them, make changes, and then upload them back into NetSuite. Now that I've shown you how the project add-in works, I can tell you about some of the general features it supports. When connecting to NetSuite, users of the project add-in can either connect using their NetSuite credentials or through token-based authentication. All users of the add-in will require certain NetSuite role privileges that will allow them to interact with projects in NetSuite. Also, many NetSuite customers choose to utilize NetSuite's resource allocations feature, which provides a visual and dynamic representation of resource allocations in NetSuite projects. The project add-in can be used with this feature either enabled or disabled. Additional features of the add-in allow users to set NetSuite project properties from within Microsoft Project, including the project name, the customer the project applies to, and the subsidiary for the project. Users can also map additional project level and task level properties from Microsoft Project to NetSuite projects, including custom defined properties in NetSuite. If a project manager is unsure about which resources are available in NetSuite, they can download a list of resources into Microsoft Project. The saved resources will include their standard rates for use in project costing inside a Microsoft Project. As previously demonstrated, projects can be uploaded into and downloaded from NetSuite, and in either case you can download actual time entries from NetSuite, and they will be applied to tasks in Microsoft Project as actual work. Finally, if your company has a resource allocations enabled in NetSuite, project managers can fine-tune assignments in Microsoft Project and upload those assignments into NetSuite as resource allocations for the project. I hope you have enjoyed today's demo of the NetSuite SRP add-in for Microsoft Project. If you have any questions or for more information about pricing, please send an email to marty.wasnicki at peregrineconnect.com. Thank you.